everyone, it is your friend Sir Tooney Van Dukes, and I am back again for another episode during International Clown Week. Today's theme is baseball, so take me out to the ball game, take me out to the crowd, buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jack. I don't care if I ever get back for its root, root, root for Sir Tooney. If he doesn't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Play ball! Yep, we are celebrating International Clown Week, and today's theme is the great American sport of baseball. Yes, I got my own baseball jersey. See, it's got my name on it, Sir Tooney Van Dukes. So I am ready to play some baseball today. And um, while we wait for the game to begin, we have some jokes. We'll make a balloon. We'll even play that song again on the old kazoo. So here goes. play ball we officially um, sang the opening song so let's get started with today's jokes and today's balloon design so let me just scoot back a bit get out the handy dandy balloon pump and we'll get started. oh yeah I almost forgot yeah yesterday I had my friend Boxcar Boots filling in for me. I hope you enjoyed him. He told me he really had a good time. You were such a wonderful audience for him laughing at all of his jokes. And he had fun making that choo-choo train balloon for everyone to see. So yeah, that was fun for yesterday. But today is today and now we are doing baseball jokes and a baseball player balloon. So we'll grab the balloon and get started. So when does the queen come out to watch a baseball game? Yes, the queen comes out and watches a baseball game, which she only has ever done it when it was a night game. Yes, just a night game. She won't do it for the regular games, only if it's a night game. <clears throat> yep. That's what happens when you have a queen. She likes her knights. So why did the police officer get called to the baseball game? Yeah, the police officer had to come to the baseball game. There was a problem. Someone stole second base. Now, how could you possibly play a baseball game if someone steals second? No, you can't play baseball if people are stealing bases. You need all your bases to play the game. So, when you're playing baseball, don't steal a base. It's just not the right thing to do. <laughs> So which animal is the best animal at hitting a baseball? Yeah, it's probably um, a person, right? Yeah, that, that person, nope, nope, that's... People don't hit the baseball, it's the bat that hits the ball. So yeah, the animal that is best at playing baseball and hitting the ball is a bat. <laughs> yep, just the bat. So what does a baseball player have 
for dessert. You know, it's a long day. They um, put in a lot of time and energy on the game. They've earned a good dessert. And I hear that baseball players really like a bunt cake. Yes, a bunt cake. You just can't get the baseball players away from the game. Even when they're having dessert, they're thinking baseball, and they ask for a bunt cake. So what did the glove say to the baseball? Yeah, the glove said this to the baseball. It said, catch you later. Yep. The glove is pretty confident that it's going to eventually catch the ball around later. So what did the baseball say to the glove? Yeah, how did the baseball respond? Oop. Well, I don't even know why we're asking because of course the baseball can't talk. It didn't say anything back to the glove. No, baseballs just can't talk. So it'll just see the glove when it gets there. The glove understands. It knows the, the ball isn't going to talk back. Yeah, it wasn't upset at all. So what is a baseball player's favorite kind of music? Yeah, baseball players need their music. Gets them motivated for the game. And I hear they really get into the swing music. Yes. The swing music. That's the music just for a baseball player to listen to. Yeah, I guess um, our baseball player is on the blue team. I'm on the red team. We're going to have a game as soon as he's ready. Yeah, he's uh, got his uniform on, his pants are ready, but um, he, he seems to be missing his head. Yeah, I don't know what we'll do about the head. We'll just set him aside. We'll keep working on our jokes, and maybe we'll find a head for this baseball player. So why did the baseball player wear armor to the game? Yeah, he had his whole suit of armor. Um... He looked rather funny at the baseball game because no one else was wearing their armor, but he said he thought it was a night game and he needed to have his armor to play with the other knights. Yep. His mistake. So do you, um, do you watch the Star Wars movies? Um, because, yeah, I like the Star Wars movies. And you might remember that big guy, his, his name was Chewbacca. Yeah, he was in the Star Wars movies. He's a real big fan of baseball. You might not know that about him, but he is. He likes his game of baseball. And you know what? He actually got Wookiee of the Year when he was playing baseball. Yes, he got the Wookiee of the Year award. <clears throat> we could all hope for such a prestigious award as Wookiee of the Year. Yeah, if you're doing a fantasy baseball league, you might want to have a few frogs on the team because it seems that frogs are very good at catching flies. Yeah, and um, your baseball, they seem to have a lot of fly.
get this attached. So which position did Dracula, yes, Count Dracula, play on his Little League baseball team when he was a kid? Yeah, even Dracula played baseball as a kid. And uh, I heard that he was the official bat boy for the team. Yep. That seemed like an appropriate uh, position for someone like Dracula to play. And we'll just set him aside while we'll work on the next part. Where do coal miners play baseball? Yes, if you're a coal miner, that's um your your job ambition. You're gonna mine coal. Where would which baseball team would you be on? Where would you play? Well, they have a league just for coal miners. They could be on the minor league baseball team. Yes, the minor league. Oh, I better hurry up because I only have one joke left. Only one joke! Let's. Good because I'm almost done with this balloon. Oh, wait, no, we have two jokes left. Why did the baseball team hire a baker? Yes, they hired a baker because, well, they needed a good batter, and um, that baker was also good at making cakes, so he had all the re best recipes, so he, he's, he took care of their need for the good batter. And why did poor Cinderella not be able to play baseball with the rest of the team? Now, Cinderella, she tried to play baseball, she really did. She gave it all what she could, but she just kept running away from the ball. Yeah, it didn't even have to be midnight and she'd run away from the ball. There we go, we got our baseball player just in time because we finished the last joke. And now we can go play our baseball game, yes. Yeah, I think I have a slight size advantage. I'll, I'll be able to run a little bit further and farther than this, this little dude, but we'll still have fun playing baseball. So yeah, I hope you are enjoying International Clown Week. Um, I am really enjoying the opportunity to make all of these clown videos and to spend the time with you. And yeah, now I can go play baseball with this guy. He's got the bat and the ball all ready. Swing better, swing better, swing! So we'll find out who wins tonight's baseball game. So yep, yeah, this is Shirtuni Vendux saying so long, farewell, of Eater Zane, and goodbye. I hope you are enjoying um, your summer vacation. You have a few weeks left before you go back to school. And um, yeah, all the fun stuff that you get to do. Uh, it's exciting time thinking about summer vacation, riding your bike, playing with the friends, maybe some baseball in the backyard. Yep. And then uh, you get to go back to school in a few weeks. Maybe sooner for some, maybe a little bit longer for others. So yep, yeah, this is Sir Tooney Van Dukes. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. And as we say in the clown world, bump a nose.